Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we have discussed about the endocrine system, let us now talk about the nervous system. So, because these are the two systems which together perform the function of control and coordination in human beings. So, what are the scenarios where we see the nervous system playing a role? So, we already got an idea about the endocrine system. We know what all functions does an endocrine system do. So, let us look at some of the scenarios. It coordinates the functions of various organs and organ systems of the body. Right? So, that is the purpose of control and coordination. It works along with the hormonal and chemical control. That means for every organ to be in synchronization with each other, we need both nervous control as well as hormonal control. So both of them are needed. Let us look at some examples. When you get an electric shock, you immediately jump. So that means the response is very fast. As soon as the shock is there, so immediately you respond. So as I told, the endocrine system is responsible for slower processes like growth. It is like you don't grow in a fraction of a second. So it happens gradually. But nervous system talks about fast processes. Or you look at this example. When you see a tiger behind, you start running. So your response of running is fast. Or when you have a hot object and you by mistake or by unknowingly you, your leg gets into it, you immediately remove it because you feel the pain. When you see some delicious food, your mouth starts watering at the sight of the food. So all these things happen very fast, right? So here comes the nervous system. So before I start explaining you the different components of the nervous system, it is very important to get used to or to uh, get an idea about these basic terms related to a nervous system. The first one is stimulus. So what is stimulus? Stimulus or the plural is stimuli. It is an event which gives rise to a specific reaction in an organ or tissue. For example, when you see some delicious food, your mouth starts watering. So what is the event that gives rise to a reaction? So reaction here is watering of the mouth. And what is the event? The delicious food. So something which actually makes you to react. That something or that event is known as stimulus. For example, by looking at a tiger, you get afraid. So what is the stimulus? So that sight of the tiger is the stimulus. So whenever you see that, you get afraid. Similarly, when you put your arm in fire or when you touch a very hot object, you immediately remove your hand. So what is the stimulus there? The hot object is the stimulus because due to the presence of that hot object, you are removing the hand. So removal of the hand is the reaction and the event that is the hot object is the stimulus. So this example again, the next one is the response. Response means the reaction in a reply of the stimulus is response. So whenever there is a stimulus, there is a response. So the reaction due to the stimulus is known as response. For example, here, when by mistake your, your foot goes into the fire, you feel the heat, you feel the pain, you immediately remove it, right? So the stimulus was the fire and the removal of your feet, that was your response. Sensory organs or receptors. What are sensory organs? These are the organs by which stimuli from outside or inside the body are received. For example, you see the delicious dish. Here you see a burger, a delicious burger. By seeing which this child is having water in his mouth, right? So now what is actually receiving the stimulus? So the burger is the stimulus, that is fine. But how is the child knowing that there is a burger? Because he is able to see the burger. So his eyes are actually bringing the information from outside. So what is that eye? Eyes are nothing but the sensory organs. That means the organs which can sense stimuli. The stimuli can be external, stimuli can be internal. That means stimuli can be something outside. 
for example the fire the burger or anything outside it can also be something inside the body sometimes inside the body something is happening because of which you react right sometimes you are having stomach ache right so you feel that thing whatever is happening inside your body you feel that pain so there are sense organs in our body in human beings we have ears eyes nose tongue and skin so these are the five sense organs which we have so ears will see things eyes i'm sorry eyes will see things ears will hear noises right for example when you are when you are crossing the road let us suppose if a car is honking so you are able to hear the horn so as soon as you hear the horn you will stop right you will not cross the road so in that case your ears are the sensory organs so they are also known as receptors so receptors means something which receives something right so the sensory organs are receiving the information from stimuli so that is why they are known as receptors then we have effector organs what are effector effector the word is derived from the term effect so the organs which produces the effect so organs that produce an effect in response to the stimuli for example in this example whenever your food gets into the fire so the fire is the stimulus removal of your leg is the response now what senses that there was a stimulus what senses that fire your eyes can see the fire your skin can feel the heat right so that means your eyes and your skin acts as the receptors and what are the effector organs the muscles of your leg because it is the muscles which actually contract and relax because of which you are able to move your leg if your muscles stop working will you be even though you feel the pain even if you see the fire even if you feel the heat you will not be able to move your leg so actually the muscles are the effector organs which actually produce an effect in response to the stimuli so these are some of the terms which we will be keep on using while we discuss about the nervous system clear so let us now talk about the different types of receptors which are seen in the nervous system receptors means the organs the sensory organs which can sense external or internal stimuli so different animals have different means to receive different external information so now the external information are also in different forms sometimes it is sound sometimes it is a sight sometimes it is a smell so that is also different so depending on that they have different organs so what are these receptors called photoreceptors are those which can sense light in human beings what are the photoreceptors eyes are the photoreceptors because eyes can detect light so eyes can see things then we have phonoreceptors that is the sound receptors those which can detect sound so for human beings phonoreceptors are the ears olfactory receptors for smell so olfactory receptors in human beings are nose so now the sense of smelling is very strong in case of dogs you would have seen that the policemen generally carry dogs because they can smell and they can sense a lot of information out of that so the olfactory receptors are very strong in them but the olfactory receptors are not that strong in human beings thermoreceptors they can detect temperature they can detect hotness or coldness of object tango receptors that is they can detect touch so when somebody touches us we can detect that right because our skin can feel that our skin can sense that similarly if something is very hot we can feel that it is very hot so we can feel that temperature okay so these are the various kinds of receptors which are present in different animals now it is in, in human beings we have eyes ears nose etc as receptors now different animals have different body structures and therefore they will have different kinds of receptors to receive the external information right so that in different animals the means of carrying the information is also different thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again